Hi, I'm Lewis. I'm a cinematographer and CTO at Storm and Shelter. And here are some things I wish I knew before I started. There really aren't any shortcuts to becoming a cinematographer. When you step onto set, there's an expectation that you know how to communicate with a gaffer, uh, communicate with the grip department, communicate with the camera department and all of your assistants. You need to be able to work with an art director. You need to be able to communicate well with a director to realise their vision. And so, yeah, there are lots of facets um, that you need to master. Um, and really, there's no, there's no shortcut to that. You just have to take the time uh, and just build up that experience to the point where you've sort of mastered it and can sort of hold your own uh, on a set. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Uh, I think this is a Teddy Roosevelt quote, um, but actually I just learned it whilst filming an e-course. When I started off, um, I, I think through a, a bit of lack of self-confidence and also wanting to feel more confident on set, and I felt that the best route to do that would be to just learn as much stuff as I could. I sort of thought that at least if I knew all the theory um, when I'd got to set, I could sort of just do it. it. It actually turns out that you don't get the best performances from the actors and you don't get the best out of your crew by just trying to prove that you know everything. You need to just listen to them, work with them and make the entire thing a collaborative experience. It doesn't matter what theoretically should work on paper. Um, if it's not working, the only way to make it work is to have a is communicate with people. Stay humble. It doesn't matter how many times you've done the same thing or how experienced you are. There's always the possibility that you're wrong uh, or that you've missed something. Always be prepared to eat humble pie. Uh, things change all the time and people make mistakes. So it's good to just have your ears open and be prepared to learn. Always carry the basics. Uh, it doesn't matter how big or small your production is, how many crew you've got or how many people you've got looking after you. Uh, there's always a small amount of things you can just bring to set to set yourself up to do a good job. Uh, a watch, a Leatherman or a multi-tool, a bottle of water and an idea of how you can get good coffee, whether that's a flask or a nearby cafe. If you've got all of those things, you shouldn't have to be running around too much. You can sort of just stay with the camera, stay with the lighting crew, stay with the director, stay focused and just get on with the shoot. Go to the gym. Uh, don't wait until your body starts hurting uh, to tell you that you need to do something about it. Uh, if you're going to go into cinematography as a, as a field of work, it's heavy work. You're often carrying things. A lot of the time you're carrying a camera. Just going to the gym, you know, once or twice a week when you can and just training some really core basic muscle groups uh, like shoulders and back just to be able to withstand the pressures of, of doing the job every day. And also when you're not in pain, it means you can just really be in the moment with the director and the talent and everybody else on set um, without straining every sinew just to make sure you're holding the camera up without flopping over. I hope that was useful. Uh, just get out there, have fun, shoot some stuff and uh, have a good time. I think, I think we're done. We're done. Please be, please be done. <laughs>